Hey, what's going on everybody? Jeff Dawn here with Holy Smoke Barbecue. And today I'm gonna show you how I like to cook the perfect ribeye steak. We're gonna grill it over some hot coals on the Kamado Joe. And we're gonna pair it up with a little compound butter that we're gonna make here in just a few minutes. You'll never wanna go back to a steakhouse again. Let's go fire up the grill. All right, guys, welcome back. There are a couple of things that you can do that will ensure you will get a perfect steak every time. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make up this compound butter. I'll go ahead and bring you in, let you see the ingredients. All right, guys, this compound butter is super easy to do and it will add a richness and just that little extra something special to any kind of steak you cook. It doesn't matter if it's a ribeye, a New York strip, or a sirloin. What I've got here is I got a stick of butter that I set out on the counter earlier today so it'll be getting softened. I also got four or five cloves of oven roasted garlic here. Oven roasted garlic is so easy to do. All you got to do is just cut the top off of the head, put a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper on it, wrap it up in a little bit of aluminum foil and just stick it in the oven. Set your oven to 350 degrees and just let it go for about an hour until the garlic is super soft. You can see right there kind of golden and soft that garlic is it gets super sweet so let's go ahead and add our garlic i've got about two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley here go ahead and add that to our butter i'm gonna add a good pinch of kosher salt and a few grinds of fresh cracked black pepper and all we need to do is just mash this all up together just want to incorporate that garlic into the butter that garlic's super soft it'll just mash right in with the butter all right, now that I got the butter all mixed together, all we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it on a piece of plastic wrap here. Then we're going to take this plastic wrap, kind of roll it into a little log. Spin it around a few times. Then we're going to put this back in the refrigerator let it firm up a little bit while we get our steak ready. All right guys, now we wanna get our steak seasoned up and ready to throw in the grill. I've had it out of the refrigerator for about an hour because I wanted to get up close to room temperature. You never wanna throw an ice cold steak on the grill. If you want a nice medium rare steak, you want the steak to be room temperature before you put it on the grill. That will help get that medium rare all the way through it. This is about a 16 to 18 ounce ribeye. It's a choice ribeye. It's about an inch and a quarter thick. So we're going to be using a little bit of Worcestershire sauce for our binder today. Take the lid off of that. Now I don't want to put a lot. I just like to put a little bit on there to kind of get the top of that steak moist. Go ahead and do both sides while we're at it. The seasoning we're using today is a little house-made blend that I make all the time. Super simple. It's so about a tablespoon of kosher salt, a tablespoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of Lowry seasoning salt, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now this is a pretty thick steak, so we want to season it very, very well. We're going to get a good heavy coat of seasoning on both sides and all the edges. Just kind of pat that in, flip it over, get the other side. And what I like to do is just take it and kind of take it on the sides get up all that seasoning that's still in your pan all right now we got our steak seasoned up and wait a few minutes to let that seasoning kind of work in the meat a little bit and we're going to get the grill fired up All right, guys, we got the grill good and hot. We got our Kamada Joe lined out. It's almost 600 degrees. We got a good hot fire in here. So it's at the point where I want it, and I'm ready to put this steak on. All right, so you can see here, we got a two-zone fire built up. I put my coals and stuff here in the front of my charcoal basket. Use a divider in it. So I got my coals here. got a good hot area here that's close to the coals. And up here, we got a part that's away from the fire it's so elevated a little bit more so it'll be an uh, indirect area for us to put our steak on so we can come up to temperature after we get the sear on it that we want so we're just going to take this steak here 
throw it on there. Get a little press down on it. Close the lid. All right, guys. It's been about a minute, minute and a half. Let's check on our steak. Oh yeah, we got some good grill marks on that. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this over. We're gonna cook it on the other side. Let the other side get some grill marks on it. I'll shut the lid, we'll come back in another couple minutes. All right guys, I've flipped this steak over a couple times so I can get my good cross hatches on my grill marks. Let's go ahead and check it. It's been on for about four or five minutes. Let's see where we're at on our internal temperature. So we're about 96, 95 degrees. All right, now that I got the color that I want on it, I got a good sear. I'm gonna take this steak and I'm gonna move it up here on the indirect side of the grill. It's away from them hot coals. It can sit up there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit up there until it gets to the doneness we're looking for. I'm gonna pull this steak at 125 degrees today. I like that, that's the perfect temperature for me. If you want it cooked more than that, go ahead. 125 degrees will be just perfect. It's gonna carry over a little bit and it'll end up a perfect medium rare. All right guys, it's been about five minutes. Let's check this steak. 128, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this steak off. All right, guys, we got our steak pulled off, and we want to let it rest. Well, while we let it rest, we're going to put a couple pats of this compound butter that we made. One got it out of the refrigerator. Some got it hard now. Put one right there. Put one right there. Super important to let your steaks rest whenever you uh, cook them. So that gives it just a little bit of time to let that juice kind of redistribute back into the meat. And uh, it'll make you have a more juicy steak when it's all said and done. I'm going to let this rest for about five minutes. Let that butter melt on it. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. Our steak is done. It's rested. Got the butter is melted all over it. That thing looks good. Steak's rested. I'm ready to cut into it. Man, this steak looks and smells delicious. Before we cut into the steak, I want to share with you my verse of the week. And the verse of the week comes out of John chapter 5, verse 24. And what that says is, Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged, but has crossed over from death unto life. And in this verse, Jesus is telling us that believing in him is the only way to eternal life just like when we cross a bridge to get from one side of the creek to the other when we trust in jesus we cross a bridge one side of that bridge is filled with hopelessness despair and suffering and the other side of that bridge is full of the things of god love mercy grace and eternal life and if you have not asked jesus into your heart i just want you to sit back and think about it and ask yourself what side of that bridge do you want to be on all right, guys, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit closer here while I cut into the steak so you can see what it looks like. All right, let's cut into this and see how we did. Man, I know it looks good. It's super juicy. Let's cut it right down here in the middle. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Super juicy. Nice and medium rare. Let's give it a try. Man, that was a delicious steak. It was so good. You can just taste the richness of that beef. And then that compound butter on it just helps to add some more flavor. You can taste the flavor of that roasted garlic. A little bit of the freshness of that parsley. I'll give me another bite. That's the way a steak's supposed to be cooked. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you give this steak a try. And if you do, how about let me know in the comment section down below. If you like the video, how about sharing it? Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel, how about hitting that subscribe button? If you got any questions about the verse of the day, or if you just like to know a little bit more about what it takes to become a Christian, 
Go ahead and contact me on Facebook or Instagram, or you can email me at address in the description below. Until next time, guys, go cook something good and enjoy some quality time with your friends and family. And remember, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. I'm going to give me another piece of this steak. I'm going to run in that little bit of compound butter.